today I am sitting down to film one of the most requested videos on my channel and that is what are the best shoes to wear at a music festival. This one I've wanted to tackle for a while because I have a ton of suggestions. I think there's so many diff different ways you can go with this. Whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, I'm gonna have options for all of you in today's video. Um, I just was sort of like gathering my thoughts. I wanted to get together a bunch of links for you guys. So check the description box down below because everything I'm talking about and then I'm putting pictures up of and then I'm showing and telling you today in person um, will be linked down below because I wanted to show you things that you guys can actually like go out and get rather than like things that are discontinued, etc. So we're gonna be covering all different types of festivals, all different types of shoe options. I'm gonna be telling you guys my favorite things I've worn in the past, what I think works, what doesn't, and then yeah, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips in general. If you're like very beginner, you either haven't attended a festival yet or you've only done like one or two and you need more helpful tips, that will be in this video as well. I think that's all I have to say. Please subscribe if you guys are new here and this is your first video I would absolutely love it if you come back and watch some more videos share this with your friends Keep spreading the word about the channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here So let's just get into this video So the things that I'm mainly gonna be talking about today are shoes I've worn and then I'm gonna be showing you guys some items that are personally on my wish list right now That I'm planning to buy for upcoming festivals But first I want to talk about some basics when it comes to shoes at festivals These are some suggestions I have for you guys so number one, personally, I would always, 100% of the time, go with closed toe shoes. It depends on what area you're from. If you're going to a European music festival, if you're going to one on the beach, I can understand how people would want to go for like sandals or something like that, For but for the majority of them, get something where your toes are not exposed because that shit is going to get stepped on so many times. Your feet get really nasty and gross, again, depending on the location of the festival. So I personally have always worn something that covers my toes so that I prevent them from getting injured, from being stepped on, etc. Number two, you want to wear shoes that have some sort of support. In most of these instances, whether it's a day festival or it's a three day weekend festival, if you're gonna be on your feet 90% of the time, uh, you're gonna be dancing, you're gonna be shuffling, whatever it is, standing around and you need something with support. So something with a nice arc to it, you can get Dr. Scholl's and like put like little cushions and inserts into your shoes too. If you have something like a boot or flatter sneaker, just give you that extra support so your feet feel comfortable throughout the weekend. Um, that will definitely help, so consider having shoes that are supportive. Number three thing, break in your shoes beforehand. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this already, but if you buy a new pair of shoes, Doc Martens, like whatever, break them in beforehand. Do not wear them for the first time at the festival. I've had friends do this. You get so many blisters. The shoes are stiff. It's just not a good situation for you. It's definitely gonna hurt your feet. So definitely do not wear them for the first time at the festival. Fourth thing I would say, if you can try and go with something lightweight, I do have options today that are for sure on the opposite end of the spectrum, not lightweight at all. But if you're like me, if you are bouncing around, if you're dancing, if you're shuffling, go with something that's lightweight so your feet don't feel like bogged down and they're not too heavy. Again, you're gonna be standing and moving all day long. So some of the heavier shoes to me are like not my absolute favorite, but we're gonna show options because it depends on, it's a personal preference. Um, and my fifth tip really quick would be pay attention to the weather. Obviously, um, just be checking the weather forecast before you go away to a festival. Um, when I was at Governor's Ball, I only went on Saturday, but it had rained the previous day. And luckily I was in these boots that I'm gonna show you but the amount of mud was disgusting. My friend was in sandals and her feet and toes were covered in mud. I couldn't even look at her. It was everywhere. They didn't really have much down. So pay attention to the weather. I'm going to be talking about some really good options if you're in like a very rainy climate. At the end of the day, you just want to be aware and you want to have an option just in case it's going to be muddy, rainy, etc. Okay, so now we're going to get right into the show and tell portion. I'm going to show you guys first. Um, I've broken things down into categories of shoes. So we're going to be talking about everything from like sneakers to rain boots to um, platform boots all that kind of fun stuff. Because we're on the topic of rain, I'm just really going to quickly show you my favorite pair of rain boots that I have these bad boys so i love these these are my ankle boots i wore these literally all week into the city because it was pouring every day they are pretty lightweight they're nice height for my ankle so i can just walk right through pud puddles and i have absolutely no problem they're nice and sleek and black they go with everything they have a nice stretchy material here um and they're super easy so if again like if you are going someplace maybe even a european festival where you know it's just like muddy and disgusting you're gonna be woods camping and you know it's gonna rain i highly suggest getting a pair of ankle rain boots 
just to have with you. I have these exact ones linked down below and then I have a version for men as well. They come in different styles. Some of these had like a little red on them. Super cute and perfect for rainy weather. I actually bought these when I went to Ireland a couple years ago just in case. So these are great. My second option, which I don't have in front of me because they're your disgusting i i've gone through four pairs of white converse white converse are my favorite shoe i wear them every single day they go with everything i just love the cla the classic look of a converse shoe these are on the side of maybe not the most supportive but i know a lot of people love converse you have the high top you have the low top they're classic they go with everything i wouldn't suggest wearing white because that shit will be ruined in a heartbeat if you don't care about that then go ahead like mine are so beaten up i'll wear them to a festival um but if they're brand new maybe go with a black or a different color option that's the other thing they have so many fun colors that i think would be perfect for like matching with your festival outfit so those will be linked down below as well those are a classic you can wear them anytime you want but they are a good option for a music festival obvious next item is going to be a sneaker so a sneaker is perfect because if you already have like running shoes or something like that like you that you love then you're good to go you don't have to go buy new shoes for a festival also you can get sneakers that are very lightweight and then these are going to be on the spectrum of way more supportive way more comfortable so i'll show you guys my favorite pair of sneakers i have classic black and white nikes i love these these are so so lightweight like these are the best for dancing and shuffling and for running i use these just for the gym you'll see a pattern with me i'm just like classic classic black and white which when it comes to shoes because they just go with everything and I love black black's probably like one of my favorite colors to wear so these are great I have a couple different Nike options down below guys and girls a lot of breathable running shoes are down below again I tried to pick options for you guys that are affordable lightweight breathable supportive all good options for music festivals so check below but I love my Nikes these are so beaten up but really quickly I want to mention these guys because these have been with me through everything like damn these are destroyed i literally didn't even remember i had these but now that i know these are the most lightweight shoes it feels like i don't even have sneakers on when i wear them and these were just a cute little pattern i got them i think it was less than 20 bucks from target a couple years ago so target is another really good place to shop um, if you just want like a nice lightweight sneaker again these go with everything and the main reason I got them is I didn't want to wear anything heavy. Okay, one other type of sneaker that is extremely popular right now is like a platform sneaker. So I have a pair that I got from H&M a couple years ago. Um, I linked some really, really fun ones down below and I'll pop in some pictures here like as I'm talking. But platform shoes are fun, especially for a festival. Um, if you do need a little bit more height or it's just more of like a mood and a look, um, especially if you're trying to pull together like a whole outfit. You can definitely go with platform shoes. Actually, these might be Steve, these are Steve Madden. I don't think I got these from H&M, but H&M sells like identical ones to these. So these again, black and white bitch, I'm so basic. Just nice little platform. They're pretty comfortable, they go with everything and these aren't like too high, so these aren't like the platform platform massive chunky heels which i will show you guys options but i've worn these to so many different festivals and a lot of shows in new york city that i go to i wear these next one that's on my wish list i have a link to it down below is the j adams platform lace-up sneaker i'll show you guys here too it's like a little like hollow holographic with like a white heel oh, i'm obsessed with these because i, I kind of want to wear some outfits that are a little bit lighter and black wouldn't go with them so i'm personally going to be buying these um and they had them in so many different colors too there's so many different ones out there on the market again you can just go to the mall too and find some some good ones um steve madden also had other ones so if you didn't want a lace-up version like i had like that steve madden also has slip-on sneakers which are the exact same sort of deal if you can see that there so yeah those looked really really comfortable and again classic and this one came in 18 colors that's why i also i wanted to pick shoes for you guys i had so many different color options depending on what your vibe is Ooh, this one i really liked too i marked this one this is a camo shoe i don't know if you can tell those are my little platform sneaker options next up are combat boots combat boots are extremely popular at music festivals now again it's a flat heel which is great i just purchased my first pair this spring and i wore them to edc las vegas and i love them mine are from iheart reeves but i put a ton link down below from amazon that you guys can look at these are mine they are a silver sparkly boot i wear these to work these are my personality in a nutshell like they're so fun and sparkly i love these i also these are the boots i wore to governor's ball when it was like all muddy and crazy so i had to clean them off a little bit but yeah these are really great um so any any type of combat boot just like really shows off your personality i think it makes a statement i think they're a little bit edgier of a look so i have a couple combat boots picked out for you guys as well there was this one pair that i found that i thought was really interesting because um they had like a little 
pocket in the side there. I was like, that's kind of genius because it's just like a nice little hidden pocket where you can put your credit card and you know, other stuff and stash some things in those shoes. We'll just move it on. Another one is Doc Martens. I know that's also just like a very trendy thing. I don't own a pair that that was my first combat boot, but there are so many Doc Martens on my list. I'll pop them all up in here. It just depends. Like I would want to get a couple because I would want to like start with one and then pick a few that sort of like match my outfit. But for guys, there's tons of different Doc Martens. So take your pick, whatever like style would fit your outfits and your mood. Okay, last thing. And then we're going to get into more like ravey LED shoes. So the last thing we'll talk about are my bucket feet shoes. So these are, oops, really crusty and dusty. Don't look at the inside of them. But these are my little pineapples. They're little grenades. And again, gray, black, and white. What else is new? These are slip-ons from Bucket Feet. Um, I also talked about Bucket Feet like way back in some of my first videos. I have a really colorful one with lions on the front of it. This is a really cool company. They have so many different awesome patterns and they tell you the artist that designed your shoe. So it comes with like a little card and you learn more about like the pattern and why it was picked. So if you really like bright, colorful, fun patterns and you just want like easy to go slip-ons, check out Bucket Feet. Again, these are on the less supportive spectrum. They're pretty flat. Um, but I wore these to EDC 2015, not this exact pair, but my lion ones, and they were pretty great for the whole weekend. So you can get some slip on shoes from Bucket Feet. All right, now the last thing we're gonna talk about, and this is the fucking fun ass portion of the video, is the LED like rave shoes that you see people wear that like light up and they're battery powered. So I have a couple here. Some of these are on my wish list for like Christmas or my birthday next year. I haven't bit the bullet yet. There's so many different ones here. I'm gonna pop some pictures in and I'm gonna link them down below but uh, I wanted to find ones that were highly rated on Amazon so that you know like you can trust them. I go by reviews with everything you guys. Like I don't buy anything until I read the reviews on Google and on Amazon, on Yelp, if it's a restaurant, whatever. So I did want to pick some ones that had higher reviews so you guys know that the lights work and things like that. So go check those out down below. Other thing I want to quickly mention, which I don't own, and again, I kind of, like, kind of touched on it, but these really massive like platform boots and sneakers are like, all the rage right now they're super fucking trendy especially on instagram um i don't have a pair because i have yet to wear one to a festival so i don't want to fully recommend them however i know some women do really like wearing these massive platform shoes i one i don't think that they look comfortable and two i don't know how i would dance and shuffle in them but if you're going more for like a look for the festival fashion aspect of it and just like an overall mood why not? Please sound off down below in the comments if you guys have actually worn some of these like massive platform boots and like let me know what you think about them. I have a couple on my radar that are so fucking beautiful. I want to buy them so bad. That's my problem is I have all these platform boots bookmarked because I want them so bad, but I'm afraid to actually like use them in real life. Like I want to just look at them, but I don't know if they're real, like realistic. Um, there is one brand I'll talk about. It's called Demonia. But basically, I found this one pair that I saw on Instagram. If I have the original picture, I'll pop it in here. This picture right here, like, I want these so bad. But dollskill.com sells them. Um, they actually have a huge shop on Amazon. Bad. I might... I might buy them for electric zoo. We're gonna see just to try them out and just to wear them But they have so many different ones. They had black ankle high ones They had ones with like a bunch of straps. They have some that go like all the way up to your thigh um, Some are more of like a wedge heel and then others have like a back heel and a front platform So it just completely depends on what you want to go for the look the color the style There's so many different ones you can have fun with um, there's men's versions as well, so everything will be linked down below. If I do buy a pair, I will keep you guys updated on social media. You'll see plenty of pictures and I'll let you know what that experience is like, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that brand I've heard really good things about, so that's why I wanted to recommend that one. Anyway, that is all I've got for you guys. Those are all of my favorite festival shoes that I personally recommend to you guys. Um, I hope you found my tips helpful. Please sound off down below with any other brands or styles of shoes that you guys would recommend, um, especially if someone's first time. What would you tell them as far as footwear? <sighs> I'm out of breath. I love talking about shoes though. Shoes are so fun. Um, I actually haven't bought that much recently. I kind of have like my staple items that like are always my go-to because I know that they work, but any of these I would highly suggest to you guys. Again, please hit me up if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Check the description box. It's gonna have a ton of information for this video. That's all I've got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.